Chatelet brothers and sisters. On the 22nd of September 2016, the Australian Broadcasting Corporation aired a program entitled, Hack Live, Aussie Patriots. However, this program was not aired live but instead on a delay, which enabled the communist faggots at the ABC to make edits in favor of their evil globalist agenda. This video will present an unedited version, providing a true and accurate account of what really went down when Blair Cottrell showed up on Hack Live and they got fucking wrecked. Praise Keck. Welcome to Hack Live. Well, almost live. Tonight's topic's so divisive that ABC management have asked us to bring you this show on a slight delay. So, let's hope we don't tear each other apart. My guests are the leader of the United Patriots Front, Blair Cottrell, lawyer and convert to Islam, Lydia Shelley, Indigenous activist, Nayuka Gori, and former ADF soldier who served in Afghanistan, Andrew Fox Lane. You're going to meet the other four in just a moment. Now, we are coming to you on ABC2. We're also streaming on iView via the ABC2 Facebook and the Triple J Facebook pages. So if you're actually watching on Facebook, you can comment right here at the bottom of the screen. You can also jump in on Twitter using the hashtag HackLive, or you can just text in 0439 75 All right, let's get started by meeting the latest wave of Aussie Patriots. Now, Blair Cottrell, you're a prominent member of the new wave of Aussie Patriots. Why do you think you've seen an increase in support? I think it's due to the fact that Australian people uh, generally feel uh, ostracised socially from society because they don't have anything they're allowed to be proud of. Uh, when it comes to national pride, if people are going to be proud of the Southern Cross or their own national flag, they're immediately considered racist or uh, uh, uneducated bogans. Uh, people in Australian society are searching for something to believe in. Uh, they might find that in religion, but in the case of our movement, they have found it in national pride. OK, Lydia, you're a Muslim convert. How do you express your national pride? I try and serve my community and, and that's the broader Australian community, not just the Muslim community. Uh, and I think that by doing service, giving service to others is the best way to display your patriotism or your citizenship. So quite different to Blair's version of patriotism? I think it's really interesting because what Blair has said sounds to me essentially like a, a very dangerous trajectory towards radicalisation. Right. In all honesty. And you actually work with um, radicalised young Muslims. So are you saying there's a comparison I, there? I have contact with people who not only... Can I just say not only young Muslims as well, people from the far right. Right. Bullshit. You're talking bullshit. Um, and they're like two sides of the same coin. Really? You're talking bullshit. And eventually, people would stop talking shit. 
What's it like to hear that, Blair? Do you, do you agree with that? I think the idea that we live in a society which is uh, harmonious and pacifistic, uh, the idea that this is going to last forever is a fallacy. We are moving into a stage of crisis in the future and when we reach that stage but of crisis... But hang on, she's compared you to radical Muslims. I mean, how do you feel about that? Well, uh, I haven't beheaded anybody, I have not killed anybody and I do not plan to kill anybody or blow anything up. <laughs> But as I was saying, uh, in the future, I think we're going to move into a stage where you can either be a radical or a victim of a radical. I think right, that's, okay. a, that, that's a really dangerous statement to make. Personally, I think you're a fucking idiot. All right, I want to go to Clinton. You, you voted for One Nation in the recent election. Yep, Why was that? Look, I've, I've got serious concerns with our immigration policy in this country and uh, I just felt that the two major parties weren't addressing those concerns. We weren't having the debate in Parliament and I felt that voting for One Nation was the only way that I could get those, those concerns on the agenda in Parliament. OK. Lara, I mean, do you feel the same way, that those concerns weren't being heard by other parties? Yeah, I certainly think that's true, but I think I, I'm probably more interested in Lydia's point that you see that kind of radicalisation both on what we're calling the far right and what you call the Islamic extremism. Oh, and I think that... Not that... my words, but... Shut up, you filthy little beast! OK. Now, we heard there in Blair's story, uh, Andrew, that uh, he used a lot of war metaphors. You've actually been to real war. You served in Afghanistan for the ADF. Wow! How is your version of patriotism different to Blair's? Well, Blair mentioned that Australians are really struggling to find examples where we can look into things, and he mentioned uh, the Southern Cross as something, as sort of something, the best example that we've got to work with, but I think we've got a lot of things. Um, we're an innovative nation, we're a supportive nation, so there's a lot of things that we can look to. Um, oh, hello! Hey, get the hell out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out of here. Go home to mommy. Go home to mommy. USA. USA. Right, get him out. Get out of here. Get him out. Um, a positive influence on the world. Get the hell out of here! You said before divisive. Okay. How do you believe or suppose that bringing large amounts of Muslim people into this country is going to make this country any less divisive? Well, well, what do you, when you say large numbers, what, what numbers are we talking about? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? There's no way that can be right! Can it? I think it's right. Whether it's 5,000 or 10,000 or 100,000, how is that going to help Australia be more cohesive or more harmonious? But 5,000 is not a large number. You fucking crazy? Already in Australia, we have extreme division between left wing and right wing, as you saw for yourself. These divisions result in uh, brutal street activism. But isn't and it's that division worse that you're worse. All right, guys, I want to bring the Nuker into the conversation. As an what's indigenous up? Australian, what's up? <laughs> hey. Uh, hey, Mom. What do you make of this version of patriotism? No, 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 would you please be quiet? No. Shut your fucking face. Yeah, um, now you could go ahead. Yeah, love your passion though. Um, no. No. Stop it. Shut your fucking mouth. No problem, Shut the fuck up, you cunt.